All right, everybody, let's get to the explanations now. Number one, I know dash men who can help you. The correct answer here is a ah. reason men is a singular countable noun and it needs to be modified with a determiner. Some is used to modify a plural noun, so it cannot be used. The, the second option is used uh, when the noun is certain, when both the speaker and the listener already know the noun uh, or it has already been mentioned. That is also not the case. And we're left with a, uh, right? And we have to modify this noun. So we'll say, I know a man who can help you, right? A general man. The listener or the reader does not know the man, only the speaker knows the man. Second, I bought an electronic car yesterday, but that car is not working properly. See, in the first clause, which is I bought an electronic car yesterday, we have a singular countable noun, which is car, which is modified using N, right? Indefinite article N. Now, in the second clause, the speaker again mentions the same car. Whenever a noun is already mentioned and you refer back to the same noun, you use the to refer to it, to make it clear that you're talking about the same noun. So here we'll use the, the is the correct answer. And this is the reasoning. This is why we are using the here. We'll not say, ah, I bought an electronic car yesterday, but a car is not working properly. No, it's not any car. The speaker is referring to the same car. All right. Third. I have dash good news for you. And the correct option is option D, which is no modifier, no quantifier. See news is considered uncountable. So we don't use words such as a, ah, n, one, two before it. We say, I have good news. I have bad news. If you want to make it countable, you use the expression a piece of, I have a piece of news for you. I have some pieces of news for you. All right. Fourth, Ria dash many friends. And the options were has, have, and is. See, option C cannot be used because we're not talking about how Ria is, right? So we're not giving information about Ria in terms of what she is or who she is. So option C is eliminated. Now we're left with A and B, has and have. See, Ria is a singular noun. It's a singular subject. And with a singular subject, we use a singular verb, which is has. Ria has many friends. Sneha has many friends. He has many friends. She has many friends. All right. Question five. We are looking forward to dash there. See guys, look forward to is an expression that is always followed by a noun. That could be a regular noun or a noun in the gerund form. So we'll use a gerund form here, which is working. We are looking forward to working there. That is why option B is correct here. Next question six. One of my friends dash someone who can help us get this tea. So guys, whenever this expression one plus of plus a possessive adjective or the definite article the plus a plural noun functions as the subject what actually functions as the subject is the word one and it is considered singular. So the verb should also be singular. One of my friends knows someone who can help us get this deal. People get confused uh, by the plural uh, noun and use a plural verb, right? But that is incorrect. Use a singular verb whenever you have this expression functioning as the subject. Next seven. One of my friends who dash in Australia dash many businesses and the correct answer was or is option C live and owns reason. See, whenever this expression, the expression I just told you one plus of plus a possessive adjective or the definite article followed by a plural noun noun. Whenever this expression is followed by an adjective clause that gives information about the plural noun. The verb in the adjective clause is going to be plural because it refers to the plural noun. So the first answer, the first half, one of my friends who live friends, it's a plural noun. So the verb of this adjective clause who dash in Australia is going to be plural. 
one of my friends who live in Australia, right? I'm not going to say who lives because that's going to be singular, but the noun is referring to his plural. So we need a plural verb, which is live. One of my friends who live in Australia. Now this entire thing is the subject. And what happens when this expression functions as the subject one plus of plus a possessive adjective or the definite article working as the subject. The main verb is singular has to be singular because this expression is considered singular. One of my friends who live in Australia has many businesses. It the shop dash to a guy who lives nearby. Guys, option A and option D are grammatically incorrect, so they cannot be used. Uh, the shop is not a person. It cannot perform an action, so it cannot perform the action of selling. The shop sold? No. The shop has sold? No. It has to be in the passive voice and in the right tense, which is present perfect tense because we're talking about the state. The shop has been sold to a guy who lives nearby. If we wanted to use simple past tense, we, we would mention the time of the action, which is not mentioned here. And that is why we're going with present perfect tense, because we want to talk about what's been done. All right. Nine. Do you know dash? As you can clearly see, it's a question. So this part is going to end with a question mark. But the option A and option D are not ending with the question mark. So they simply cannot be the correct answer. Now, no is the main verb here and uh, it's going to have its object. The dash is going to be the object of the verb no. And it's not a regular noun. It's a noun clause and all the noun clauses have the subject first and then the verb, right? These are not direct questions. These are embedded questions. And embedded questions have the subject first, then the main verb or the helping verb. And that is why option C is the correct answer. Tenth, tell me dash. Now, as you can clearly see, it's not a question. It's not starting with a helping verb, an auxiliary verb. So this sentence cannot end with a question mark. So option A and again, option D cannot be the correct answer. Tell me what your name is. Tell me what conjunction your name subject is the main verb. Tell me what your name is. I can't say tell me what is your name because that is going to be a question and this part cannot be a question. All right. Eleventh, they dash my problem. Let's start with the option C. Have not understand if have is followed by an action verb that has to be in the third form in the past participle form, but understand is the base form. So it simply cannot be the right answer. Option B are not understanding. They are not understanding. My problem sounds correct, but we don't use understand in the progressive form, right? We use it in the base form. They don't understand my problem. So it is very common to say they're not understanding my problem. You're not understanding my problem. But try not to use understand in continuous forms. All right. Twelfth, he lives dash near to my house, near my house, nearby to my house. See, near is not followed by any preposition. That is why option B is the correct answer. He lives near my house, near to my house, nearby to my house. Incorrect near my house or nearby my house. Thirteen. The matter dash right now. Options A is discussed, B is discussing, C is being discussed, and D discusses. The reason why option C is being discussed is right is because the matter is not a person. It cannot do something. And right now refers to the current time that something is happening right now. Okay. So let's start with option one. Option A is discussed. The matter is discussed, but the word right now is there. That means it's happening right now and is discussed is in simple present tense, right? So the tense is a problem here. Option B is discussing. The matter is discussing right now. The matter is not a person who can do something. All right. So is discussing is not the correct answer. It's not a person. 
if it was a person we would say somebody is doing something right now but the matter is not a person option c is being discussed yes the matter is being discussed right now somebody is discussing the matter right now the matter discusses again the matter cannot perform an action that is why option b is correct here 14 neither of them dash right about this neither of them now whenever you have this expression neither plus of followed by a plural noun or a pronoun a plural pronoun uh and whenever this expression functions as the subject the verb is going to be singular because it is considered singular none out of the two or the given parties right so neither of them is right about this have cannot be used because it's not referring to the position all right last he is addicted to dash video games now you are addicted to something that could be a regular noun or a gerund all right an action form of a noun so uh, addicted to is one of the expressions that are always followed by a gerund form of a noun all right because you're addicted to something that is generally an action he is addicted to option b playing video games he is addicted to smoking he is addicted to uh, drinking wine so these are the explanations for all the answers hope you enjoyed this quiz if you did hit the like button let me know you like the video if you guys are new to the channel make sure you subscribe to the channel press that notification button so that every single time i publish a video you get notified and you get to watch it right away and if you have any questions any doubts do let me know in the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible and i'll see you guys very soon till then keep learning have fun i'm out namaskar